Hey guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day and you're ready for this next episode of Doctor Who. We have had a really good run of episodes in a row so far. And you know what? I think this is probably going to be another good one. I'm never disappointed. I cannot wait to watch. Let's go. And that brings us to the end of programming for today. 200 pounds overdrawn. I need a miracle. He's struggling. Needs money. Don't we all? <laughs> oh, our Lord and Master. Rita, I'm off out. Dad? Oh, how many times, son? We'll see. But everyone's getting a telly, Dad. Well, perhaps we'll get one for the coronation. If you're lucky. I heard they rot your brains. And your brain comes <laughs> pouring out of your ears. That's what television does. Oh, look at that ankle. Ooh. This is that fellow that needs a miracle. Mr. Magpie. Oh, Mr. Magpie. Can you hear me, Magpie? Yes. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. What's that? That's awful. Okay, so the grandma was right. <laughs> They do rot your brains. Oh, gosh. That poor fellow. He was only lamenting what a miracle he needed to have money. But maybe good thing is he doesn't need it anymore. I mean, it's dead. Oh. Oh, wow. Well. The Vegas era. The white flares and the uh -huh. brrr, chest hair. Where is he Elvis? You go for the late 50s. What's more, you see him in style. Oh. So cute! Feel my way, doll. Is there any other way to go, Daddy O? How is she gonna feed her hair under there? <laughs> oh, that is amazing! Head Sullivan TV Studios. Now be TV Studios in what? New York. That's the one. Do you that New York vibe? Wow. They're not in New York. This could still be New York. No. <laughs> what are all the flags for? Oh. <laughs> You'd have thought they was in the room with you. Yeah, that should cheer you up a bit, Rita. Give us a smile, then, eh? Nothing to say anymore, not with her. Stop going on about it. But her face, Eddie. What happened to her? <gasps> the grandma? Her face. I said stop it! Oh, no. She's awake. <gasps> I think she's hungry. Oh, no, no. I, don't, I, don't, I think I don't want to see this. Great occasion. What do you mean? Coronation, of course. Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, oh, is this 1953? Time for a lovely bit of pomp and circumstance. Look at all the TV arrows. Looks like everyone's got one. Magpie's marvellous tellies. <gasps> Only five quid a pop. Oh, but this oh, is a brilliant what? year. What? Classic. Someone help me, please. Dad. What's going on? Don't look at his face. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? Police business now. Get out of the way, sir. <gasps> oh. It's happening all over the place. They're turning into monsters. Mm -hmm. Not one word. Get inside now. Sorry, I better do as he said. Follow that car. <laughs> On their little tiny bike. Operation Market Store. Go, go, go. Oh, nice. Okay, what's he got planned? Put the hammer down. Oh, no. I thought he could do like a Lost jump him. or something. How do they get away from us? Monsters, that boy said. Mm. Maybe we should go and ask some neighbours. That's what I like about you. The domestic approach. Hold on. Was that an insult? <laughs> I thought it was nice I've finished too. it. As you instructed. That's awfully good of you, Mr Magpie. So you'll go soon? Leave me. Oh, we'll see. You're burning me. Behind my eyes. It hurts. I just want things back like they used to be. The time is almost ripe. Cometh the hour. Cometh the man. I really want to see this grandmother. How come Mr. Magpie's face seems normal now, but they say that this grandma has a funny face? Man, it's me, it's Tommy. What do you think you're doing? We've got to try and help her, Dad. Give me that key. Oh, he doesn't want to help? Every time you disobey me, you can forget that college nonsense. Oh, they're punishing him for the boy wanting to take care of his grandmother. Now let's get these up all over the house. In honour of Her Majesty. But Eddie, what if she's dying? I am talking! Ooh. 
I wonder if he's been affected by the television for him to be so weird. Hi! Oh no! Just doing a little check of our forthcoming Majesty's subjects for the great day. Don't mind if we come in. No, I didn't think you did. Thank you. <laughs> Very well kept. I'd like to congratulate you, Mrs. Connolly. Those flags. <laughs> well, they're not flying. There we are, Rita. I told you. Get them up, Queen and Country. I'm sorry. Get it done. Do it now. Hold on a minute. Like the gentleman says. Hold on a minute. You've got hands, Mr. Connolly. Two big hands. Well, it's housework, isn't it? And that's a woman's job? Of course it is. Mr. Connolly, what gender <laughs> is the Queen? Mm. She's a female. <laughs> and are you suggesting the Queen does the housework? <laughs> no. <laughs> not at all. Then get busy. <laughs> right, yes, sir. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Union Jacks left, right and centre. Union Jacks? Yes, that's right, isn't it? That's the Union flag. It's the Union Jack only when it's flown at sea. I do apologise. Well, don't get it wrong again. Now get to it. <laughs> Union flag? Mum went out with a sailor. <laughs> I love telly, don't you? Yeah. I think it's brilliant. Why don't you tell me what's wrong? Oh, please. Can you help a doctor? Now then, Rita, I don't think the gentleman needs to know. Oh, the gentleman does. <laughs> What the hell am I doing? Now you listen here, Doctor. What goes on under my roof is my business. Not if people are being I into... am talking <laughs> and I'm not listening! Now you, Mr. Connolly, you are staring into a deep dark pit of trouble if you don't let me help. Oh get up there. She won't stop. <gasps> I started hearing stories all around the place. People who've changed. And the police started finding out. We don't know how no one does. Come to the door and take them. Any time of the day or night. Jeremy. Oh. Oh, I love this. The imagery in this episode. It's Tommy. Everything is sort of tilted it's and it's just help. so cool. <gasps> yep. No face. I have questions though. How does she breathe? How does she eat? <laughs> Scarcely an electrical impulse left. It was complete neural shutdown. It's just ticking over. We can't even feed her. We can't oh, feed her. Okay, so how, how is she still Tell alive? Hold on a minute. There are three important, brilliant, and complicated reasons why you should listen to me. One. <laughs> oh, no. uh, okay, so they take everyone that's had their brain wiped. Whoa, that's so quick. <laughs> She's still trying to get down the stairs. Oh no, 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 no. It's going to happen to Rose. <sighs> That's lucky. I thought that that would happen to Rose. What are you doing? Oh, don't touch that. She's so smart. You get the hell out of my house. <laughs> Only an idiot hangs the Union flag upside down. Shame on you. <laughs> I love that smile. Operation Market Stall. I want to oh, see him do a jump. Good. I'm desperate for it. Very good. Oh. Okay, so all the people that they've got, mm, they're all trapped in there in those cages. How many do they have? Oh, look at their hands. What are they doing? Hmm, they're just facing away. <laughs> facing away is a strange word for me to use in this situation. No faces on any of them. Oh, that's horrific. Whoa. Oh, that is so awful. I don't know the significance of flexing the hands. <gasps> there we <you> are. <gasps> no. I'm sorry, miss. I'm afraid you're too late. Yeah, Mr. Well, Magpie. Telly. Come back tomorrow, please. Oh. Hungry. What's that? It's just a television. One of these modern programs. Oh, what no, 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 not Rose. How comes your televisions are so cheap? <gasps> Seems only right that as many folk as possible get to watch the coronation. So why don't you get yourself back home and get up bright and early for the big day? At no, least he's I'm trying to save anything. her from what's I about to happen. Push. Something's happening out there. Ordinary people are being struck down and changed, and the only new thing in the house is a television. Your television. Mm-hmm. I knew this would happen. I knew I'd be found out. Oh. All right, then, just, just you and me. You're going to come clean, then? What's really in it for you? She's so brave. For me, perhaps some peace. From what? From her. 
That's just a woman on the telly. That's just a program. What mm -hmm. a pretty little girl. Oh, my God, are you talking to me? I'm talking to you, little one. Who are you? I'm the wire, and I'm hungry! <gasps> oh, no! Oh! Just think of that audience tomorrow, my dear. 20 million people. That's the plan! So I'm sorry. Good night, children. Everywhere. Wow! Tell me everything you know. Poor Rose! Well, are you connected with this? Make no mistake. The thing is... <laughs> Detective Inspector Bishop, but I can't help thinking. Detective Inspector, you're not exactly doing much detective inspecting, <laughs> are you? I'm doing everything in my power. Orders from above. Mm. But doesn't it drive you mad? Doing nothing? Don't you want to get out there and investigate? With all the crowds expected, we haven't got the manpower. Even if we did, this is beyond anything we've ever seen. 20 years on the force. I don't even know where to start. We haven't the faintest clue what's going on. Uh, that could change. Start from the beginning. Tell me everything you know. Would it, would it, that guy really, though? It's Rose. Another one for the Stop collection. I about a month ago. It's just blank. Is there any sort of pattern? It's spreading out from North London, all over the city. There's been quite a large number in Florizel Street. Find another one, sir. Good man, Crabtree. Here we are, Doctor. <laughs> Take a good look. See what you can deduce. Rose. You know her? No, I should. They did what? They left her where? In the street. In the street. They left her in the street. They took her face and just chucked her out and left her in the street. And as a result, that makes things simple. Very, very simple. Because now there is no power on this earth that can stop me. Come on! Yes! <laughs> I love that. I love that. He's so protective i adore that you've had your fun with your little doctor but now you're left with me Risa. so you'll behave yourself and smile <sighs> oh here we go here we go side just look at that telly box then eh? the picture's so clear <laughs> yeah Beth. where's your old mum then she can't go missing it mum can't make it down ah oh, maybe we could pop up and see her later mm. maybe you could what do you think dad <laughs> Maybe Auntie Betty can go and see Gran later. Tommy, talk to me. I need to know exactly what happened inside your house. <gasps> oh! What do you think you're doing? You want to help, Dad? Shut your face, you! We can Jeez. handle this ourselves! You're hardly out of the blooming cradle, so I don't expect you to understand. But I've got a position to maintain! People around here respect me! It matters what people think! Is that why you did it, Dad? Did what? You ratted on Gran. How dare you! You've been informing on everyone, haven't you? Even Gran. Is that true? Mm-hmm. She is filthy, a filthy, disgusting thing! She's my mother. I did the right thing. The right thing for us. Or for you, Eddie. Mm. Go with the doctor and do some good. Get away from this house, it's poison. We've had a ruddy monster under our roof, all right, but it weren't my mother! Unless there's more to his story, but I just think he's awful. Jesus. What was all that then? That was the sound of something ending. And about time too. Everyone all right? Nothing's going to spoil our big day, is it? I hope they're better off without him. He seems just awful. She was just watching the telly. Who well, said it? She guessed it straight away. Of course she did. All these aerials on one little street. How come? Yeah. Look up the road, Mr Magpie. He's selling them cheap. Is Mr he Magpie. Oh. You can't do that. Shut! Get your head out! Come on and talk to me! Magpie! Maybe he's out. I love it. Oh, hello. This is very much not right. <laughs> oh, beautiful work. A portable television. It's not the only power source in this room. Yeah, he's got it. <gasps> oh, no, that's everyone's faces. <gasps> oh, no. Doctor, doctor. She's calling for him. I'm on my way. What do you think you're doing? I want my friend restored. Who's really in charge here? You? I think that must be me. May I introduce you to my new friend? What are you? I'm the wire, and I will gobble you up, mm. pretty boy. And when I have feasted, <gasps> I shall regain the oh, corporeal wow. body, which my fellow kind denied me. 
colour television. <laughs> so your own people tried to stop you? They executed me, but I escaped in this form. And now you're trapped in the television. Is this what got my crown? Yes, Tommy. It feeds off the electrical activity of the brain. Doctor, the coronation! For the first time in history, millions gathered around a television set. You can't do it all from here. That's why you need this. This'll turn a big transmitter into a big receiver. But why fret about it? Why not just relax? Kick off your shoes and enjoy the coronation. You'll be glued to the screen. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. If they get taken, there's no one that can help. Yes. He's armed and clever. Yes. The box magpie. The box. Don't do it. Conduct me to my victory. Don't do it. Hungry. Oh, no. All right, come on. What happened? Thank goodness it didn't take Tommy. Start looking. It's too late. Never too late. Alexandra Palace, biggest TV transmitter in North London. Oh, oh that's why I chose I this place. See. Tommy, what are you gonna do? I'm going shopping. This what you want? Perfect. <laughs> right. <laughs> What's he gonna build? I'm trying to rack my brain as for what he could build to stop this. Let's go. Something to block the signal or divert it, maybe. Oh. My goodness. Please, please don't make me. <laughs> the time is at hand. Feed me. Feed me. It's like my cat's at 6 p.m. Come on. Where do we think we're... Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. Shouldn't <laughs> you be at the coronation? They're saving me a seat. Who do you think oh, you I wonder what it said on apparently. the paper. Who do you think you were? In your Belgium, apparently. Don't let anyone stop you, Tommy. You'll get yourself killed out there! Your Majesty! Did he say that he was the king? Feed me! Whoa! Oh no, no! It's too late! Peace! That's disgusting. I think she'll take Mr. Magpie regardless. I shall consume you, Doctor. <gasps> oh! I won't let you do this, Magpie! It took my face, my soul! You cannot stop the wire. You promised me peace! Then peace you shall have. Yeah, when she takes him. Yeah. Oh! Dear, has our little plan gone horribly wrong, Doctor? Yes, there's another boy. Good boy. Oh, nice. I don't know if that's too late, though. Because she had started taking the people. Oh, good. It's closed down, I'm afraid. Ooh! I love that ringing that her scream just turned into this static sort of ringing oh everyone's okay and rose all of a mess <laughs> doctor electrical creature tv technology never alien in life form <laughs> that's me by the way i turned the receiver back into a transmitter and i trapped the wire in here i just invented the home video 30 years early all right so where's miss rose <laughs> there she is oh This was never your house. It's in my mother's name. <gasps> On her behalf, I'm telling you, out. <laughs> nice. I had hoped for a bit of ending between those two, but I'm satisfied with that. Oh, wow. This is history right here. The domestic approach. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> that thing, is it trapped for good? On the video. I'm sure. Just to be on the safe side, though, I'll use my unrivaled knowledge of transtemporal extirpation methods to neutralize the residual electronic pattern. What? You what? I'm going to type over it. <laughs> oh, yes! Seriously, I'm always doing that. You can have a scooter. A little present. Nice! Good riddance. Yeah. He was awful. Is that it, then, Tommy? He deserves it. 
Tommy, go after him. He's your dad. He's an idiot. Real clever. Clever enough to save the world, so don't stop there. I love Rose's encouragement, even though his dad was just so awful. She knows what it's like to grow up without a dad. I enjoyed that one very much. It was so fun to see something awful happen to Rose, but then without any consequences that we know of and to see her be okay by the end. I do love it when terrible things happen to our doctor and our companions. It's just, it just gives it that extra edge of being worried and concerned for the characters because although we see a lot of bad things happen to the side characters, it's not often that the terrible things happen to the main characters. So when that does happen, you know, I get a kick out of it. I love it. I thought this episode had some really interesting uses of camera angles and just uh, shots and focusing. A lot of it was um, tilted and I'm not really sure why. I don't know what artistic direction they were aiming for in this one but I did find it very artistic I found it very creative and it stood out to me compared to some of the other episodes I'd be very interested to know or learn like why they decided to go for that angle with this particular episode I, I just love it I do hope that they utilize that in the future but not every single episode, otherwise it wouldn't be as special. But I thought that was a really interesting touch and it just made the episode, you know, stand out even more for me. The father that got kicked out of his house, I was actually hoping for a better ending for him and his family, but he was pretty darn awful throughout the whole story. So I'm kind of not really surprised that he, he's gone now. This episode, The Doctor, I love, love, love how angry and passionate he got. When a, um, when a character is angry and passionate and fiery, like it just makes me so excited and riles me up as well. It actually reminded me of the episode... In season one, the Dalek episode where Doctor Number Nine was so furious and I, I love that too. Seeing them yelling, getting so stressed, angry, upset always is so much exciting fun as a viewer to watch that and it just really pulls you in to that moment. Little touches like... I know this is going to sound gross, but seeing like their spit on their lip, it just really hones in what a passionate moment that is. And I love those moments. They are some of my favorite things, honestly. All right, guys, that was the Lantern's Idiot. And it was fantastic. I really enjoyed that one. I hope you did as well. I'm getting visited by one of my cats right now. So... That's nice. I think it's about time that um, that I say goodbye. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Kat. All right, guys. Um, have an awesome day.